Checking in team number 8680, Kraken Pinion, of course, one of the top teams in the world here on Behind the Bot. I'm here with Chris, Shaban, and Jackson, and a lot of cool stuff to break down the spot. Of course, we got the odometry, sweet intake, four bar manipulators, huge elevator, a lot of stuff here on Behind the Bot. So we're just going to kind of go down the line. Uh, looking at the spot here, we'll be moving as it goes around. What do you want to start out on this cool machine? So I think we'll start out with the intake. So at the front, we have, well, we have compliant wheels for the entire thing. And for the front, those move around, around the axis, which the back ones are on and this allows us to take in blocks from any orientation on the outside and the back wheels the fact that they're a set distance apart from each other it makes them come in at a certain angle no matter what so it's easier for us to pick them up and move them with our four bar and with that I'm going to switch over to our virtual four bar which unlike a normal four bar it doesn't have all four bars on it's just got two and this chain system that we have on here keeps the top level with the ground in order to easy more easily be able to place the blocks on the foundation or anywhere we need to put them so what made you think about you know you call it a virtual I'm gonna call it like a half four bar so let's make it a two bar I, I don't know but uh, but what made you come up with that concept versus doing more of a traditional four bar well our first thought were, was to do with four bar but it ended up being a little bit too cumbersome and it was way too big to fit inside what we currently have in our robot so we were just kind of looking around other things kind of keep the same concept so it was easier to implement and we stumbled across a virtual four bar so we decided let's try this out and we tried it and did a couple prototypes did it with string chain different things to see what was work and this was the best thing that we came up with all right, we'll just keep moving on down the line here. Shabam, what do you want to tell us about on this sweet machine? Um, I guess I'll talk a little bit about the drivetrain on odometry. So um, I'm going to go ahead and flip the robot over onto its back, if that's all right. Can you do it? Yep. Yeah. Um, so on the bottom, you'll see that there are three odometry wheels um, that are all spring-loaded into the ground. And what we do is we have encoders on those that track how many times they rotate um, to get our X, Y, and uh, angle position uh, on the field. Um, and they're as far out from the center of rotation and as small of wheels as possible to allow for maximum accuracy. So we've been hearing a lot about odometry, odometry, odometry. I mean, is this something that's just become more popular this year or are more teams catching on? What's going on with that? I've definitely seen it become more popular this year. Uh, a lot of people start to use encoders in their um, motors that power their main wheels and a lot of teams have realized that that causes inaccuracies because of slipping and stuff like that. So a lot of teams have made the push towards odometry. I know we've seen a few teams share some of their odometry wheels online and stuff like that. Um, so we decided to go through with this last year and this year we improved upon it even further. Alright, a couple more things to check out on this machine. Why don't you take us through the rest of the machine here. Yes, yeah, so one of the uh, cool things about our robot is the autonomous claw that we built so we found during our first competition that intaking blocks with the active intake uh, during autonomous disturbed other blocks so we opted to create a claw like mechanism right here uh, that is controlled by a four state times time function so essentially once a driver lines up the robot with a block the, the arm swings in and covers a wide range. From any range, it can within two inches, it can always grab because the bottom servo swings as a function approximation of the top servo's position, which uh, allows it to be closer to the robot for longer. And we have four other states to make it easier for the drivers to control. Well, Kraken Penny, I appreciate you guys taking the time. I know you're uh, still working on fixing a couple of things, so we kind of grabbed you uh, in between matches. You're doing that, so thank you for uh, taking us through the spot. You guys have made awesome machines every year that I've been watching you guys, and I can't wait to see as you guys keep improving, keep implementing, keep making things better. So good luck the rest of the competition season, of course, here at this competition as well. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.